Hey guys, this is Mr. Pogsamor and today I will teach you how to make an automatic mob farm in Minecraft Pocket Edition or Bedrock Edition. So let's get started. So for this project, we will need the following. Uh, four hoppers, two chests, two water buckets, two stone brick slabs, a door, a lot of stone bricks, and also a lot of buttons. So first we need to put a double chest on the ground and then at the back we will sneak and then we will attach two hoppers and then two more hoppers at the back. We must be sneaking to do that. Next I'm gonna put stone bricks, uh, three stone bricks going this way and then another one on the other side. Two more stone bricks going up and also here on the right side and then I'm going to connect and then below we will need stone brick slab just like that. Then I'm gonna put two more stone bricks here at the back and then we're gonna stand this uh, stone bricks uh, 30 blocks high so that's gonna be a two three four four And then I'm gonna extend the other sides. So it must end up like this and then here in front we're gonna add two more stone bricks right there and also we're going to extend these two all the way up. And so we must have something like this and then we will go all the way up here and then uh, we will make a 2x8 platform so uh, that's gonna be 1 and then 2 and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then we will add uh, one more here so that makes it 9 so we will do that as well on the other sides So it must look something like this and then we will extend this part all the way here just like that and also uh, this one so it must look something like this and we will do that on the other sides as well So it must look something like this. And then uh, we will uh, make a bridge something like this. So it must connect all the corners just like that. So I will do that on the other sides as well. Okay, there we go. So it must look something like this. Next, we just need to fill up uh, the gap. So 
so we will do this with the other sides as well. So it must now look uh, something like this. Uh, next up here we will uh, make something like this so that we will have a, an infinite source of water. So we must add uh, one more just like this. So put one there, put one here. So in survival mode you should be able to get infinite water here at the middle. Using 8 water buckets, you need to fill uh, water here. The water should flow all the way to the hole just like this. So we need to do this on the other side just like this. Next we need to put uh, buttons right here. Now the reason for this is that mobs will spawn here and then they will treat these buttons as solid blocks and that's the reason why they will go all the way here to the water and then they will fall down to their death. So we need to do this on all the sides of the square as well. Okay there we go so it should look something like this. So next we will uh, extend uh, this up to 3 blocks high just like that and then we will just just need to fill up all the sides of the square. Okay, so it should look something like this and then all we have to do right now is to cover uh, this square and make a roof. So we need to do that, make a bigger square. Okay, there we go. So it should look like this right now and then all we have to do is to go here, down here and uh, let's just make a little room, something like this. So we can put here uh, the door just like this so that we can go inside and of course we can go here and just do some afk we can also put here some uh, scaffolding and we can go all the way up here so that the mobs right there can detect us if mobs still won't spawn all we have to do is just go here closer to the farm just like this so right now if we will take a look at the chest as you can see we have gunpowder, arrow and some bones and sometimes we can also have uh, the spider eye from spiders of course, glass bottle from the witches and also the string from the spider. Have you ever felt Are you listening?
Damn. 